Hello and welcome to SGN Tech Forum. Today I'm going to show you how to install CML 2.8 in VMware Workstation Pro. Yes, in our last video, we have downloaded VMware Workstation Pro from Broadcom. It's a free software. Go ahead, download that, install that. You can watch the video. Link is in description. In this video, we are going to install CML Cisco Modeling Lab 2.8.0. Right? I have downloaded this already. This is our VMware workstation pro so what i'm going to do i'm going to say so go to file open cml here you go yes so we are importing a virtual machine not creating a virtual machine new virtual machine is cmo280 and i'm going to say import importing the ova file and since it is ova do not have to worry about the different parameters or specifications it is embedded within the ova definition you'll see once the import is complete perfect here you can see as i mentioned memory 8 gb processor 4 hard disk 32 gb and so on so it's pretty much set and network adapter is bridge that's what we want we do not want a nat i want to make sure that i can connect to the node inside the cml that means the individual labs and for that we are going to use the bridge mode i have done a couple of videos regarding the networking within the cml Again, the link is in description. You can go ahead and watch that. All right, with that, we are pretty much ready to uh, kickstart our CML server. This is good. Let, let it run like a default. It is unpacking CML 2806. All right, yes, please continue. Accept EULA. Let's tap key and enter. Welcome to CML first deployment configuration. Continue and brief help is like how you can go back and forth. Continue. Two interfaces are required for clustering but are not available. This setup will proceed with a standalone all in one deployment. Yes, we do not want a cluster since we are limited or constrained on resources. I want a standalone all in one deployment. Okay, system unique host name CML controller sounds fine. Please attach a reference platform image to copy reference disk. All right, so we do not have a reference this thing. So as of now, we have only CML, and the disadvantage of saying continue, anyways, we have to take a long route to add the refplat definition or refplat image where we have all the image definition. So I'm going to abort this thing right now. And we will restart after downloading the refplat. So what we can do is simply shut down, shut down guest OS. Yes. And I'm going to go back, download the refplat here, Cisco Modeling Lab Reference Platform ISO. This file is required for the user who are not migrating from an existing installation. Yes. So let's go ahead and attach the refplat with the CML. I'm going to go to CD DVD, browse, browse to the location. This is our refplat, free tier, disk image. CD-ROM image, that's it. Okay, we are ready to power on this virtual machine. So let's glide through the option one more time. System unique name, this is good. And here you go. The refplat error is gone. And now we are proceeding to the next stage. Here we are going to install the sysadmin, uh, which is listening on PCP port 9090. So think of it as like an admin console. It's not really the web UI front where you create your labs. This is more of a administrative purposes. So I'm going to keep this thing simple and okay, the password is not strong. Anyways, yes, now you can see this is the username and password for first user in CML controller. This is your web UI controller username and password and DSCP use DSCP to configure IPv4 address. That is correct. We can rely on DSCP and this is the deployment summary. You can see we have CML controller, default host name. We have two usernames, sysadmin, which is the portal available at TCP port 9090, and then at port 80, that is admin. Primary interface is ENS 160. This is all good. I'm going to say confirm. Reference platform image now will be copied from ISO to the VM disk. Yes, I do want to proceed. And as you can see, it has found the refplat attached to CD ROM and it is copying that ISO image refplat, which is nothing but node definition or the image definition is copying that to the VM. Here you can see it is giving us the web console and the UI access both. So let's go ahead and log into 175. That's the DSCP IP address it has got. And here you go. We have the UI available for Cisco Modeling Lab. CML user contact detail for now. We are going to dismiss this and here we are we can create our node labs everything 
Welcome to CML. I'm going to give you the quick tour quickly. Add nodes, drag nodes. You can drag and drop here. Smart annotation, node pane, and that's it. Let's go ahead and drag our first node. We have a few servers, unmanaged switch, and an ASAV. You can go ahead and add your own node. And we have done a video regarding that, how you can add a node manually. Okay, so I happen to pause the video to quickly create a wor working topology for you so that I can leave you with something to work and at least to get started. Here you can see we have used pretty much all the available node, external connector, unmanaged switch, a SAV, a router, a switch, and a couple of workstation. So you can build your own topology, but I wanted to give you a a pointer how to maximize this as you can see we have external connection integrated with unmanaged switch and unmanaged switch has connection back to all our infrastructure especially the firewall and routers so that you can connect to this firewall and router from your local machine it's an out of band connection and then we have the our lab setup here asav we have the inside interface uh, which is going to a router, and then a router is connected to switch, couple of workstation. So I leave it up to you to build whatever topology you want to build and practice. But this is great. This is a great start, and you can see anytime you are working with free tier, this banner is here, and it says OK free tier. So go ahead, start your lab, and enjoy learning. Thank you.